Hi, I'm Chris Edwards, and this is my swing analysis, and you're watching me and my golf to take charge of your game. Hello and welcome to Me and My Golf TV. We're your coaches, Andy and Pierce, and it's time for this week's My Swing Analysis, where we analyse one of your golf swings. Sure is. Please get involved. Go to Facebook, Instagram and Twitter and enter the competition today, and good luck. Yes, it could be you. Right. We have today, we have Chris Edwards, all the way from uh, the USA. He used to live in New York, but he's now living in beautiful California, in San Diego, one of our favourite places. Chris is a six handicap uh, golfer looking to get a little bit more consistent. We have his driver here, Pierce. We're going to yeah. look at his driver. Um, he tends to be a little bit inconsistent with this, so let's have a look at what we can do for you, Chris. Um, first thing is, Chris has actually sent us his Trackman numbers, which is really good, so this helps us sort of look a little bit deeper into what's going on. So let's take a look at his Trackman numbers first. With the driver, Chris is averaging around about between, somewhere between 10 and 12 degrees left path with his driver. So swinging the club 12 degrees, 10 to 12 degrees left, but he's also roughly between seven and nine degrees down with his driver. Now you know from our videos that we want to generally hit level two slightly up with the driver. Um, so you can see they're slightly off with that and the path there very much left, which is going to lead to um, some of that curvature of some slices potentially. So if we can improve those pierces, improve his angle of attack, improve his path, we're certainly going to do that. So let's dive straight into his golf swing. So first thing is setup's not too bad here, but as we move into that backswing, this is where we're going to see some interesting things. First of all, we can see the club moving away from his body. But as you swing to the top here, we'll notice that Chris tends to lose his body angles, his left shoulder's very high, he's quite tall and upright, lost, lost a bit of posture there. But you can see from the front on view, his upper body now is leaning towards the target. He's got that reverse spine with all that pressure into that left leg. Now, very difficult from here to actually start with the lower body, but also from here, there's only one thing that's going to happen. He's going to hit down and he's also actually going to swing left a lot as well. So if we can improve what Chris does from his body pierce, it's going to make a big difference. If we just take a look at the downswing here, because of that, we'll see now his club swinging very much over the top of the plane and left here through the ball. Powerful hitter, though, by the looks yeah, of yeah. things. Yeah. But well, we saw with the numbers, the club head speed was really high, but you know, losing a lot of distance, as you say, hitting the ground sometimes, possibly with the driver coming in that steep yeah. and that low, sort of low squirting high right slice, so low then squirting high and right. And you know, that's uh, it's going to sap him some distance and some consistency. Okay, so. What we want to do then, really, we want to look at what his body's doing, but then we also want to look at what the club's doing. So we've got the body track here, which is looking at what's going on with the ground. Really important for Chris. So, Pierce, just take us through how we, how we want to look at changing what Chris is doing with his body. Okay. Firstly, what have you done? You put it the wrong way around. Okay, so what we have, we have got the body track. We've twisted it around so we can actually show you the new drill, Chris, that you are going to do, which is going to help how your body moves. So we're going to focus on that first of all. So you'll notice I'm getting into a split stance. The trail leg, I'm pulling back. Now the whole idea with this is that when you hit when you hit golf balls doing this, which we'll do in a moment, is we'll be asking you to really focus on loading that trail leg. So I'm really focusing on putting the pressure into that trail leg and really good for me, I can feel it in the heel, whereas Chris tends to get on the toes from what we've seen. But you can see from the front on view there, look at the angle of my back now, it's in a really good position, I'm really loaded up. If I were to reverse spine, known as it hurt the lower back for me, but I, I'm really gonna lose my balance doing this. So it's a really good drill, even without a golf club. But as we say, we'll be hitting shots doing this, focusing on loading up that trail side, getting the back into a good position. And it just makes the downswing a lot easier. Do that one more time for us, Pierce. And when Pierce is talking about loading here, he's talking about winding up this torso against this right hip. So really loading up that trail leg. And look at his lead shoulder, a lot lower than what Chris's would do. Chris would lose posture and get that lead shoulder to come up there. And again, taking all that pressure and sort of wind up out of it. And from there now, with this split stance, Pierce, it's great because it's going to help deliver a club from more, more inside, if you like, a more neutral path. Yeah. Totally. I mean, having, just having the feet to the right allows you to do that anyway. But yeah, as soon as you load up into that position there, it's a lot easier then to get those arms dropping into this area here and swinging out. So it's going to be a lot shallower downswing and then path will definitely be more to the right. OK, so that's the drill that's going to help sort of get your body working a little better, Chris. Now we want to just attach maybe a drill to help you with that move away because we know the club tends to get a little bit out of position. So yeah. let's go through this drill, Pierce, with the move away. This is a really good drill to do when you're not hitting golf shots. You'll find it hard to do that. Uh, we're going to split your grip. So we're going to split the grip like so. And the focus is going to be here that as Andy was saying there in the analysis that your hands want to do this, come away from the body, disconnecting that move away. We want to really feel as though you stay very connected through this first part of the backswing. You'll notice that the shaft is actually pointing towards my right hip. You'll also notice that the hands and the handle are a lot lower. Normally at this 
position here, your hands would be up here like this. So this is a really good way of not only teaching you how to get the club in a good position, but also the body working around that. I can feel this arm a lot closer. So all the movements that I do when I do this drill, as long as your focus is to split the grip and point the, the shaft at the right hip in this early stage here, you're going to practice lots of good movements. Yeah, and ultimately the, the reason we're doing this is we want to get the, the club swinging on a better angle around the body. So from there, Pierce, if we continue on now, that club is swinging a lot closer to the plane as opposed to sort of yeah. getting that flat move away and, and sort of pointing or, or, you know, way in front of the target line in the backswing there, isn't it? Exactly, and, and the thing for Chris and anyone else who does Chris's faults, your swing is this and then this so it's out around and then over this one is a lot more closer to start with then it will feel as though it goes a little bit up and then it will shell on the way down it'll feel like a bit of a Jim Furyk swing almost Ricky Fowler swing so quite different now I think there's you know you can see by changing what your body does Chris is really going to help deliver the club in, in some better numbers yeah. but also it's key that you get the club working in a more consistent plane just to help you with that body motion as well okay Pierce, so let's put all those together let's hit a shot and see if we can uh, get somewhere close to where we want. Well, we want a draw out of this one. You know, when we get people to do this at the academy, they normally get a draw coming out. So obviously not full power, split the stance, maybe have another practice at loading that trail leg really good. Starting to ache a little bit there, Andy. Maybe it's, uh, I'm really working it hard. <laughs> okay, here we go. And we can see it's about a 10 yard draw and that the golf ball started a long way to the right and then drew. So the path must have been obviously more out to the right and definitely a lot shallower, only just nicked the tee peg there as opposed to whacking it into the ground. So you're going to see some different ball flights, angle of attack is going to change dramatically, but so is the path, the ball is hopefully going to change completely. Um, post any questions guys down below, Chris, hope that helps uh, you out there and hopefully you'll be beating your playing partners next time you get on the golf course, but it's going to take a little bit of work there. Um, and don't forget guys, next time, um, if you want to have your swing analysed by myself and Pierce, enter the competition, go to Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Good luck.